Hello, humans and pets. Today, uh, Mike Subs opened its first neighborhood shop on the Jersey Shore um, in 1956. But today, it's been a while. It seems um, like 1956, the last time we had Jersey. I wasn't Mike's, alive actually. then. It, it's um, been a long time. He either, I don't think. No, I was not. Um, unless we time traveled. So I'm not really sure when this actually came out because they, it, it, we, I was flipping through all the apps, the 20 something plus apps that we have on my phone. Yeah. And I happened to see, we went down when they first came out with the Portobello mushroom uh, and Swiss grinder that they had. Correct. So when I was flipping through, they now have a Porto chicken. What? I, I was gonna say they have a Portobello steak sub. Yep. And a Portobello uh, chicken sub. Correct. So we're going to try those both. Uh, the sub total for all of it, oh, I have it over here, $19.80. Yeah. So divide that by two, and that's how much each sub is worth. Um, yeah, that was, didn't do the math. that was part of the issue I I, that I always uh, have 10, with, with uh, I think it's $9.80. Um, so this is, I mean, again. It's like a six inch. Um, this is a six inch sub. It's ten dollars, and that's kind of where the issue always lies with me with these guys. And it's kind of really good at Jersey Mike's. Yeah. But uh, the money is on the expensive side for sub, not like sub places like Subway. It's cheaper, you know. Um, even uh, what's the well, place called? everywhere we've gone, it's cheaper uh, pretty much. I mean, you, it's not even. I, it's barely a six inch sub. So we chose uh, Parmesan. <laughs> Sorry. Parmesan crusted uh, rose, rosemary Parmesan bread and wheat bread. Yes. Um, uh, we actually got uh, Parmesan rosemary. But bread. why is that? Because we drove to another. We drove state. to a different state. <laughs> um, we went on an adventure. We sat in traffic. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't that bad, but we ended up getting uh, different breads today, um, which, side you which want we've been trying, the but they didn't actually. Um, yeah. Every other time we tried to get it, so. we we've yet to get it from. How you place. open this? You just pull it out, Ryan. Oh, oh, there's a thing inside. There you go. Um, it sounds like pretty big, though. No, they're not even six inches. They may be six inches. Not like best. length, but like height. Yeah, I, I mean it, it's a it's an for average the, for the like the stuff in it. So it has like peppers, uh, the mushrooms, the portobello mushrooms. I'll give you this one's chicken. This one's steak. This one's um, a steak and chicken. Yeah. Has peppers, I think, onions, um, sauce. Um, no, it's been a while since we've steak. had a steak and cheese. And the last right. one we have was the best steak and cheese I've ever had. We got a deli. Yep. Um, so so good. I kind of said, well, let's go try this. Because I remember eating a portobello one. And Ryan, who is not a mushroom fan. Or a steak fan. Actually ate it. And it was I actually it. really good. So which one do you want to try first? The uh, I chicken? want to try the chicken and save the best for last. All right. Well, this is what the chicken looks like. We'll give you a close-up view. I have to come over here. I, I don't think they need both views. Sure. That's what the chicken one looks like. A sauce. Chicken and mushroom. And we're right. gonna eat it. Well, let's try the chicken first. I can say a pepper. I like the bread. A piece of chicken fell out, and that the, the the actual pepper itself had a lot of flavor on it. The bread is really good. I'm trying to. The breads are the same price each. You don't pay extra for different breads. Uh, if you like white bread, it'll be the same as the rosemary parmesan or the wheat. Uh, gluten free, I believe, is like a little more expensive though. I'm liking the bread. I like the fact that we actually got it. Mm. Me too. I have to say, I've taken only two bites of this so far. I mean, and I think it, it, it always kills me to pay $10 for a six inch sub, because I think that's just, it's just wrong. But this is delicious, this chicken one. This has a yeah. ton of flavor. You barely even know you're eating chicken. It almost has a sauce. The onions are to onions the point are, of just about caramel. They're, they're like thin. I like when the Very onions thinly are like, cut. like the onion rings. Plenty Not of, onion rings. I forget what they're called. They're strips. Like. Uh, yeah. Mm. 
The mushroom's good. It's almost like an olive in this. It reminds me of an olive. Yeah. Like it, a mushroom -y taste. But it has almost, it's, it doesn't have a sauce, but it almost has a sauce the way they seasoned it up. It is actually very good. It does good. have a sauce. It's uh -huh. like a mayo or something. I don't know what it is. I mean, it almost tastes like they they sauteed it in like a gravy type of a... Yeah. A, you know what I mean? Because it came together nicely. And the cheese on the crust is pretty good. Cheese on the inside is really good. Oh, yeah. Overall, I'm, I'm going to... As a chicken cheese steak... Four grinder place. This is probably my second best cheese steak I ever had, and it's not even steak, it's chicken. Correct. Um, um, I like this place. I think they do high quality products. Um, they taste high quality. Yeah, and that's kind of where the price point's coming from. Um, I don't mind spending the ten dollars if I get this. You know what I mean? I would like it a little cheaper, of course. I'll take everything for free, mm -hmm. but I don't mind it. Um, I'd rather pay it for this than get uh, like a Jimmy John's, for instance. I don't like them as much as this. I don't get me wrong. Have, uh, less, like, I would go to Vagadageli and get theirs for like Definitely. $9 or $8 um, or whatever correct. it is because it's more even, food. Even uh, what's the place called? I like D'Angelo's? D'Angelo's. I want to say DiGiorno's, mm -hmm. like the pizza. And then you get a foot long? But I think this one, the chicken one that I just had, was cheesier mm -hmm. than their steak and cheese. But you could always add more cheese to their steak and cheese. Correct. So this right here, but that was really good. Would be um, that was really good. The steak one. Um, I would like to say we got the regular size. They also have a jumbo like mega size. Well, the regular size um, was ten dollars. Like Six dollars more. Right. It was ten dollars. It was like seventeen dollars. I think maybe you one said, time. A jumbo. Because I know Subway has a jumbo. Yeah. Uh, they have a jumbo. Maybe we'll compare the jumbos. Uh, who knows? We figured we wanted to get the two different flavors, though. Like, the two different ones. I, I must that say, chicken one was the phenomenal. The sub reviews, the grinder reviews, are always the best tasting ones. Uh, and that's a good sign for any company. I think Firehouse Subs, even though it's my least favorite grinder place, sub place, whatever, I still think it's uh, better than, like, most of the reviews we do. I just remember when we went to Jersey Mike Black, because we went to a total different one because, like you said, we tried it two different times, and the time of the day that we just went, I thought traffic, traffic might have been better going down Plus to the other never state. never the bread over there. No, and we got both of them, and, and I mean, the bread was super soft on the last one, this one too. Let's try this yeah. one. This is the steak this and cheese. Also wheat bread, which is my favorite bread. Mm -hmm. I was waiting on you. I almost spoke, but then I said I'm gonna wait. I saw that. You're not gonna speak. He's too busy filling his face. Much like the chicken one, super cheesy, super flavorful. And one thing, like, if we're gonna go back to steak and cheeses, I remember I really liked the number eight from D'Angelo's. That was really good. Absolutely love the Vagata Deli one. I really like the one from that major league. But what I found the one for the major league was when they changed the flavor, it was good. But with the lack of cheese, it almost got to the point of being dry. I remember even yeah. the D'Angelo's one, we said, I, I want to slap some mayonnaise or something on it to give it some kind of a liquid feel. Mm -hmm. Neither one of these two sandwiches needed anything. anything it's super, that. super like moist. There's yeah, no dryness really well at all. Um, Very well from seasoned. From the peppers to the onions to the mushrooms. Well, th that's the one thing. I, I said it on the, on the chicken one. I was surprised. And even on this one, it's almost like... Now, the portobello mushrooms to begin with, when we ate the just portobello Swiss... Was good. Was really well seasoned. Mm -hmm. um, now, when you add meat to it... The, well, the mushroom almost tasted like you're eating steak. 
Yeah. Like they had it seasoned up like a steak and cheese. But then when you add it to the steak and cheese or the chicken and cheese, it sucks up the juices from the steak and the chicken when it's mm -hmm. cooking and adds that moistness to the meal. I wanted to say I didn't like either one of these because of the price point, but I actually love both of these. I would I would get these again. I, I do not like paying ten dollars for yeah. a six inch sub. Uh, for which one but, is better? As you, much as as much as I want to, I don't ever want to say it. I think the chicken one had more flavor to me than the steak. And one. I don't like steak. I have to go with the steak one. To me, I think it has more flavor. So that's funny. Um, I thought you were gonna say steak. One hundred percent. Nope. Don't get me wrong. The steak one is absolutely delicious. Oh, definitely. But I. The chicken one almost tasted like it had a gravy to it because of the mixture I thought of this the one juices. Was, yeah. I don't know. The cheese is phenomenal. They, they were both actually. Um, what's the better bread? I want a rosemary parmesan wheat bread. That's what I want. Um, I didn't get the rosemary in the parmesan. You could taste the, the parmesan you could taste on the, the parmesan, outside. But you couldn't taste the. I didn't get the rosemary else, um, really on it. Um, and the wheat bread to me just is a heartier bread. That's what I it go feels. with wheat. It feels to me every time I eat wheat bread, white bread. Again, I, I grew up only having white bread in the house, um, so white bread to me is just boring, and it just like it doesn't it doesn't taste like anything. Wheat bread has a flavor. He's he's kind of like that's what I, to me that's what it feels like. White bread you just kind of eat it. Like you, but when you eat like wheat or, or I, I like personally, I like pumpernickel, I like rye and stuff like that. When you eat one of those breads, it really has a flavor to it. Like you yeah. can actually taste the bread. Wheat's like somewhere in between. And the wheat, this this wheat bread, as soft as it was, seemed hearty when you ate it. Where yes. the other one, it was soft and mushy and just went in your face. It was just easy. Like it went down. So, so I think on this one, I like the wheat bread better. That's my personal wheat opinion. Bread. That's my personal opinion. And I'm not saying I didn't like that steak. That steak and cheese was absolutely dynamite. Same with me. I love, love the chicken. Um, and it's now, in the ranks of the grinder rank, in, right, we did it with the chicken sandwich. As much as it hurts visual, me to say, in, in, our, in your, our mind. As much as it hurts me to say, and I don't know if it's just because we this haven't had one. This is better than Angelique <coughs> roast beef, but it's nowhere close to regatta. Because regatta is better. I want to say this: I, this is number two and three right now. Yeah, it, I, it's still going to give regatta because regatta for the money, the sheer girth. And I think this is three and four. Un unless you factor in price. Yeah. Because I would go to D'Angelo's one hundred percent. Either get that number eight or, or number nine or or the steak, steak bomb. bomb. Either one of them. Or the, I would get the chicken taco and, one again. That was really good with jalapenos really and stuff. Good, dude, I like that. That one was too. fun. That I like when. Mm -hmm. That was enjoyable. I like that a lot. I really like that one too. But I'm talking just straight taste, not not money wise. As far as the steak and cheese went, yeah. the amount of cheese and flavor that these two had in it, I say regatta first because that was just a fountain of flavor too. No, the regatta steak and cheese or the regatta. Uh, no, club? I'm talking just steak and cheese. Oh, I thought you were just talking subs. Mm -hmm. So, okay. with the regatta steak and cheese, I gotta put that first. Mm -hmm. Then I gotta put the chicken and the steak, they're right there. They were both phenomenal. They really were. And this one. And then I would go with the number nine. And then I would go with the steak bomb from D'Angelo's. And then I would go with Major, Major League, League at the end. And I like Major League. Still really good. Still really good. Um, it was. But in in all total subs, like every single sub that we've tried, um, I'd put I uh, stuck in too, both though. of the regatta subs we've tried. Yeah. Um, as one and two, I think I put the steak up higher, uh, the steak and cheese mm -hmm. with the hot hocks. Definitely, um, get hots with it. Um, I would this put, would have been out this, of this world. I would put hots. three and four, but I would see myself going to D'Angelo's more and getting the chicken taco one. I would, I would get that more than this, um, but not as much as regatta. Um, so for that, I'm gonna put this, uh, the the taco one at three, because uh, I I could see myself going more to it. Um, I'd put uh, the steak one at four, and then this one at five. I'd probably put uh, Major League Roast Beef somewhere here. Uh, you can probably move all of these from now on, like a mound, uh, in any way. And then I'd put get the Subway Cali sandwiches. 
Um, I put, uh, you know what? All of the Subway sandwiches, and then I put Fire House subs. Fire House subs kind of disappointed me on the flavor and the price point. Um, but for just the flavor, I think it was the least. I think Subway yeah, I, I, I can't really rate like on that. where I would go because a lot of that would be price point and, and actually right. location. I mean, we had to drive a good 30 minutes to get to this place. But if they were all right next to me? All right next to me, though? Without a deli. Uh, hands down. Hands down, that was the best steak and cheese I've ever had. I'm still looking for someone. That was kind of kind of why we'll have I have to revisit it. That's kind of why I wanted to. I, I'm I'm okay with that because that was actually the best steak and cheese I ever it had. It's nine dollars, right, for like a a, a half, half loaf of yeah. bread <laughs> and hot. Uh, it's cheaper without hots, of course, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, by like a buck or two. But get get it with hot. But we got the ever, hots if downstairs if we would needed to throw them on. I have some on down there, anyways. We got to open up, but just straight hot. flavor again. The only thing that hurts me about this place is I, I, I personally think you should never pay $10 for a six inch sub. I, I just think that's wrong. But this one was delicious. This was a really good six inch sub. And don't get me wrong, regatta is only six inches, but it's also it's six like, inches wide. Because you, you're, you're getting an Italian um, bread instead of a French loaf. You yeah, know what it's, I mean? It's Where, wider this way. It's the same probably length, and then yeah. it's taller as well. Right. Since you're getting like a, a, it's an, literally a it's loaf It's an Italian bread. bread instead of a, um, like a French like the bread. the stuff you buy at the dollar store. I mean, the yeah. Walmart. Right. So when you cents. get the Italian loaf as opposed to a French loaf, which is long and skinny. Correct. But um, overall, I am pleasantly surprised with the flavor on both of these. I, I um, honestly... I think the different types of breads certainly helped it. I feel like I would see myself liking it less if it didn't have the wheat or the Parmesan. Well, and I keep trying to tell you that when we go to Subway. Subway has a variety of breads, too. Like, when we just got the, the, the turkey Cali one came on... It came with one a, of their new... It was a new bread, right? Like yeah, I forget what, what the flavor go is. Go watch that on. video and go but watch Regatta first. That was a good one. I'm still waiting for, we, we still got to find, it, well, I'm still waiting to find one that, there's got to be a steak and cheese place out there that makes one that can compete. But this, this right here. This was close. Were two good sandwiches. Really. Definitely. They, they were two. Certainly. Really close. I mean, we haven't had that regatta in a while, but. I mean, if I want to pay $10, I would get the regatta over this. You know what I mean? Because it, A, Certainly. it's cheaper. B, it's a lot more food. It's a lot more food. But and I was pleasantly I surprised like by the chicken chicken cheese because I expected, you know, we've had so many chicken ones lately. Yeah. Where it just tastes like chicken. Boring chicken. There's just nothing and on them. This was this seasoned was The Angelo's out. taco one, I think, I had the most, it was the most messy. And we like messy food mm -hmm. um yeah but it had that southwest flavoring it had all those over it. like eight yeah, different no. sauces and everything it, it had really corn. good it was really it, good it was yeah. fun it was um, really it good it tasted really good it was but, it was like eating a mo's burrito mo's is like the only place that can compare to regatta in my mind and it's a burrito place of course tacos burritos a uh, whole different type of food well where did we just get the wraps where it just oh Kagoba. arby's no arby's just oh. had wraps where it was just plain chicken like it, it wasn't, it wasn't anything seasoned. The in fresh it. So wraps, it, like it, the Jimmy John. It wraps. wasn't bad. It just wasn't good. This chicken was seasoned up nice, and it had a flavor and it was on to a piece it. Of bread. And it tasted like steak. Now like, this was more expensive, I believe. No, they were right around seven bucks a piece, two eight bucks this a is piece. Ten. Yeah, so it was um, a little so more expensive. It's a little more. Uh, but this, so. if you would have ate the whole thing, though, a half a grinder is more than a wrap. It just feels like more because the bread is the more bread. substantial. Um, than but the wraps wrap. were bigger. Then yeah, they're about the bread. same size. The amount of stuff fit in it. Yeah, I true, mean. true, true. But true. I don't like the amount of stuff as much right. as this flavor. It tastes good. Um, the, the point of, I wasn't really comparing the two, other than the fact that, or even when we got the uh, don't boil your chicken, just season it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Even when we got the, the old one at not the new one at Subway, that one was really good in season. But remember, we got the old one with the uh, buffalo wing sauce on it. Yeah, and. It, it was just plain white chicken with buffalo wing Correct. sauce on it, as opposed to this act. Wing. This I think the best comparison, right, is the the boiled chicken and then they squirt the sauce on, or the teriyaki chicken, which is like cooked and marinated in the sauce. In the sauce, and it has. Uh, a of flavor. course, it's going to be way better yeah. if it's the teriyaki one. And, and and honestly, if you didn't know that this was chicken, it really tasted like a steak and cheese. That, that that chicken and cheese. I think it's partly because of the flavor. It is. It, it tasted the cheese well, and the mushrooms. It's the same um, thing when we ate just the portobello mushroom in Swiss. 
it tasted like you were eating steak and cheese. Like if you yeah. didn't know any better, just by the flavor, you were like, this is a good steak and cheese, but it was all mushrooms. That chicken and cheese mm -hmm. was tasted like a good steak and cheese. It had a good steak and cheese really flavor, flavor, but you were eating chicken. Yes. So uh, kind of like uh, Major League Roast Beef, we use the bell seasoning when we make gravies for turkey yeah. and the turkey. Yeah. So it reminded me of like a turkey that, that, sandwich. It, it, it um, had that. But that one but was really was, dry to me. It was, but it was super flavorful. Yeah, very if, flavorful. If, if it was a little bit less dry, I feel like. If it had more cheese or, had more or it had like a, really a, a, a mayonnaise. That's why I kept saying it. And, and if you go back, I even like think. Like a D'Angelo's taco sauce. I think even the D'Angelo's. I it's think, not taco. I think even the D'Angelo's when we when we ate the the one that uh, Eric the, had told us to the get. Steak the, bomb the steak or? bomb. I think I, I said on that one. It just, it needs like a mayonnaise or something to, to break up the, like it seemed like it was almost to the point of being dry. There was no dryness at all in this sandwich. You Zero really, the, the, they had a generous amount of cheese. It was all melted together very well. And it very was well. very flavorful. Like I said, that one little pepper fell out and it was just a ton of flavor that, that when, the onions, when you ate it. The, the onion like crisp. They the were almost, onions, they, yeah, they were almost. I like them when they're like that, especially yeah. on a burger. Yeah. I think when they're like the short, like strips. Caramelized onions are better um, anyways. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I like onions. I like them when I they're like just, when, when they're just, um, but when you just take it off, when they're translucent and they get sweeter, yeah. they're good like that. Or I like them when they stay like that. But when you onions caramelize are, an onion. Onions are weird because the longer you cook them, it changes flavors like three times. Yeah. And, and then when they, by the time you caramelize them and you're starting to get them where they, they, they get that, pre, like in a fajita. It just has a robust flavor yeah. and it's delicious. That's where these were. These were at that point where they were cooked on the grill and you could tell they were at that I point. I like vegetables. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's the end of that sentence, I guess. So overall, uh, I expected to say, you know, very disappointed paying $10 okay, for six I, inch I sub, but was this was actually, I'm not going to say it was worth the 10 bucks, but it didn't, this doesn't make me mad that I paid it. This was good. This was at um, least good food. It's worth the 10 bucks if it's the only sub place in town. Um, but since there's D'Angelo's and for us, uh, Vagata Deli. Um, I agree. It, it was further to drive yeah. here than them two places. Especially, so I would, that's why I said, I don't want to say who I would go and get one at, but this was worth to me the money because it was so good. Much, much like when even, we'll, we'll take Regatta as an example. Their regular regatta Italian club Go is like five dollars and fifty cents, so yeah. it's cheaper. And their steak and cheese was like say just under ten dollars. I think it was like, but it was eight. worth that four dollars because that steak and cheese was out of this world. Yeah, I think they also put more steak. So this uh, one, to me, if I'm gonna get an Italian club Pause. or this steak and cheese for ten dollars, because all of their sandwiches are the same price, I would get this steak and cheese over their Italian club when we had it. Or, or Italian club? This one, I said, this one. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Um, like, because they're all around the same I price. would get Regatta's uh, Italian. No, we're done with Regatta, though, because we already did. That's not... Oh, the, we were talking about the I know, comparison, but so I was comparing. I, 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 you can't compare that, because, you know... Because it's just, it's just they legendary. Give, they give you the most bang for their buck. But, but someone who lives... Like John lives in Michigan, he's Walk not going to Regatta anymore. To Regatta Delhi, you know they should make their own airport. They should be in every airport. Um, but I, I am saying I, we did like the Portobello mushroom one. I do like the chicken Portobello one and yes. the the steak one better. I think it had more flavor. It was Way juicier, more. and they were both delicious. So if you are better. a Jersey Mike fan or you haven't been to one or you have been around, this is a good pick. Again. To me, they're a little bit pricey for a six inch sub. It's better than firehouse subs. But I will agree that they're not the priciest. I check out this place yeah. and then check out other places. Because you don't want to check out one place and then get ruined of the, the good experience. Yeah. Out of out of all this fire now we've gone to Firehouse at least twice and we we've had, had the meatball one, which yeah. didn't really have We've a had lot three of grinders, I think, from Firehouse, and none of them wowed us. Yeah. This one was bored up. this was wowing. This was a wow. I would like like a few like a, a amount of money from the purchase to go to a foundation mm -hmm. at Jersey Mice. Um, and I don't know if not, they don't do that on on yeah, any I'm other time. Sure. You know what I mean? But again, this is I think the third time we've been to Jersey Mike's, and we did drive somewhere else because I thought traffic might be a little bit better, and it was. And uh, 
it was actually easier to get to even though we had to cross the state line I and it was it looked like that. it was in a brand new establishment the parking lot looked brand new and it, oh, it yeah, actually they, they, it, it looked like the like whole place a like plaza, a plaza that was, wasn't and filled the, the, there was only jersey mike's there Hmm. It was all empty, so I don't so know. If I don't really took a hit on it. I don't know if and this was like, new and they just down, right but... and they just came here or what. But uh, and it was busy. There were like four or five people that walked in while fire, we, a while fire we truck went there. around the building. Yeah, but there you go. So that is uh, chicken portobello steak and cheese and a steak and cheese in portobello. He'll have the actual name of what they actually call it, but in the title. But I would recommend either one of these. But just know what you're getting into. You're getting a six inch sub for $10. Yeah. So I don't like that, but this was really good. That, that you know what I mean? Like, this ain't the best deal, but this is one of the better things I've tasted. It, it's not the best deal by any means. That's why I didn't really want to say, would I go, I, will, I would go to D'Angelo's or Subway or any one of them because I'm going to get a foot long this for the same price. This place to be reviewed on this channel, like Moe's Regatta Deli, right? Well, we bring them up a ton. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're like the best places we've reviewed. Yeah. This is somewhere like above that, like the middle. Above the average. This was a good meal. This is like, if I was going to rate a step, I'd pick like Moe's. I pick uh, Regatta Deli um, and a few other places in like 100. Oh, I'll give them a 100 score. This is a good like 89. It's not quite a 90, but it's really, really close. And if they come out with some really big hit, then it will be. It depends me. how you, you rate the establishment because I think, again, I'm putting them pricey. Yes. So, you know, let, let's put it like this. Pizzeria Uno, we've not had a bad meal from there and, and it's really good. But to me, it's pricey. I'd give them so like an 86, I don't. It depends 85. how you would give the ratings because, you know, we, we, if you want to talk about a regatta deli, you get a lot of food for a million dollar money. When you want to talk about a Moe's, you get a lot of food, good quality food for a little bit amount, yes. amount of money. I don't put, mind paying like the money for this because it's really good quality food. Yeah. But the price, since it's so high quality, the price is kind of um, pricier than every other place. Yeah. Um, this was a good steak and cheese. Correct. I, 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 I would say it's a great steak and cheese. We will have to try. And now that, now that he's, got us, he's got us back into the steak and cheese. Steak the Wayback makes a Philly cheesesteak, too. Oh, we're going to Wayback soon. And, and I can get, if, they better still have the tangerine. And we, we've lemonade. never had, they do have like a Philly cheesesteak that they that make. Good. And they do make phenomenal cheeseburgers. So maybe we'll have to try like their Philly cheesesteak and see if it's- That'll probably see be the next can, video. See if it can compete. I just was thinking about it when you just said that. Oh my God. You know, cause theirs is around $8 I think too is in the average. And I think it's only a six inch sub, but I mean, I'm just thinking of other things. I Back still- Back to Jersey Mike before we give away all our concepts yeah. that we're gonna do in the next few days. Well, you got me back on steak and cheese. This was steak really good. Steak and cheese is a good. Yeah, well, really go good. to way back. We might try regatta again, who knows? Um, well, wherever the road takes us, um, maybe we'll make our own steak and cheese, smoke it, make our own bread, like a whole adventure. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll have to see. We'll see what happens. Uh, Jersey Mike's, this was um, a really good steak and cheese. This was good, but now um, you got me thinking of the regatta one. I regatta's remember, way, way, way I, better. I just remember I, that being I, you insane. You can't beat it. Uh, I think the, um, the taco one is a little better for me. They had that other franchise, the Charlie's Cheesesteaks or something, too, that it, it, depending on where it was, there was like six or seven establishments, and some got really high ratings and some didn't. And, and I don't know if anyone has ever eaten at Charlie's Cheesesteaks. I don't know if they're any good or not. But I remember when we were looking to go to local places, exactly. that was one of the places. It really wasn't local. It was a chain place. They had them all over Massachusetts. It was, it was a local chain. I don't know if they have them in other states. I just know there yeah, was a bunch of different towns. And uh, I don't know if they're any good. But this was a decent steak and cheese. But you, you got me wanting, like, another D'Angelo's or something. You got me thinking I want another, you know, another steak and cheese. The issue this with the reviews good. is when you compare stuff to prior episodes... As the episodes go on, since we upload one a day, so we do a ton. Um, yeah, we got to be over 175 episodes now. Oh, way more than that. We, we um, have to be up there now. Because I remember when we hit 150, that was a long time ago. Like, it's so. hard to remember what the review is if it's not really, really good or really, really bad. So when you have, like, a it, middle of the road, it kind of blends away. Or if it's really bad, like the Saweetie meal, you just forget about it completely. I forgot that even existed today. Well, you just brought it up. I so had to it, bring it, it really up. Existed. But I will say... <laughs> Again, price, not a huge fan, but this grinder itself, yes. worth getting it. So there you go. So there is our review. 
both of them actually the chicken and the steak so if you the good part of the chicken one yeah. is if you like the steak and cheese flavor but you don't like eating steak like me the chicken you didn't even realize you were eating chicken it was just as flavorful but and I just like, as good I, I as and you like the steak and cheese i don't better. know what's so. up with me I, I i started liking guac on items yeah. i don't like it as much like as a dip that's they were I both realized. absolutely um, delicious they, they were like i'm looking at this and there's, a, go there's back, drippings and it's taking everything I had not to go we, back. If you go to way back, I'm gonna that's get the, delicious. I'm gonna get the guac burger. I didn't mean to put that in his head. Way back is make some good. They way make back some, is a hundred percent again. They, they make, way back yeah. passed the test. Well, I'm wondering if that would be the one thing they. It's not as good because you said you wanted to try the buffalo Jesus. chicken. I want to try the buffalo chicken, from but I also too. want tangerine lemonade if we go. Right. That stuff so is there really, you go. So put an ice cube in it. It's like tangerine. And stuff. Jersey Mike's. Portobello mushroom steak and portobello it. mushroom chicken. Phenomenal. On a pricey side, give it a try. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video.